Hey guys, uh, today's video is on the concept of quality versus quantity. And I was thinking of a book that I read a long time ago to, called um, Zen in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. If you've not read this book, I highly recommend it. And they really go into this concept of quality versus quantity. And while those are usually seen as uh, this or that, I am going to talk to you today about why you need both quality and quantity, or should I say quantity, then quality. So even if you've uh, been watching my page or watching my, my channel, um, you'll see that I have been producing a massive amount of videos. One of my good friends, Owen Cook, who is Tyler Durden, officially on Real Social Dynamics, RSD, he pretty much has um, dominated that market and he's become, uh, their, their company's financially by far the most successful company in pickup, which Pickup has a uh, negative connotation, but really it's teaching guys that have been playing freaking video games and uh, you know sitting around at home alone, not having any social skills, how to go, go out and actually have a conversation with human beings. So they're teaching basic self-development concepts to people. And here's how this relates to you and me. So I've been putting out this massive amount of videos. Owen told me, he says, just do your first hundred and you're gonna hate them. You're gonna hate how you look, you're gonna hate how you sound, and they are gonna suck. He's like, they're not gonna be as good as you know they could be. You're gonna watch them and be like, ah! It's gonna be really uncomfortable for you, but you need to be comfortable being uncomfortable. So he said, just do a lot. Do a lot of quantity. Do your first hundred. And then you can get the refinement and start making the quality where you know there'll be something there where you recognize what you're doing and how you look and how things start to flow. And you have you know the art of it. But this is true not only in making videos like I'm doing here, but it's also in sales. It's in communication. It's in relationship. I'm not saying sleep with a lot of people, maybe, but I am saying meet a lot of people. Um, find the, quant the quantity. You know, and when you have a quantity, you have references. You have all these experiences, life experiences that you pull from where you make distinctions. And that's how we learn. You know, you can learn from the book. But you know, people are book smart or street smart. Street smart basically means that you've had a lot of experiences. You got some knowledge, you got an insight, and you went out there, you took action, and then you've got experiential learning, and that's learning that you own. When you're learning based on what you know, people, self-development speakers say, or this person says, or you get out of a book, a lot of people get very smart and they do nothing with it. A lot of people have a lot of fancy big letters behind their name. They got PhD and MD, and I got all this crap, but yet they're not doing shit with their life. You know, it's like getting out there, taking action, you know, taking this concepts inside of you and actually applying it, then we start to develop our own wisdom. And this is one of the most powerful things that Tony Robbins ever said to me in my life. He says, you can get smart from another person's knowledge, but you will never become wise from another person's wisdom. You can get smart from another person's knowledge but you cannot become wise from another person's wisdom. That only comes from experience. And if you want to ascend to the level of quality, if you wanna be a quality human being, I'm saying that you need to have a lot of experiences, a quantity of life experiences. And then you have this refinement, you know, he's like, you start to look at the roadmap of life and there's all these roads all over the place, safe to get from New York to California. There's all these different ways to get from where you are to where you want to go. And no one person, you know, yes, you can take this, the highway, but sometimes you're on the 10 or the 405 or the, the 101 or whatever it is. Or if you're on the East Coast, you're on uh, the 95, you know, it's or the, or the 80 or the 70, you're on the super highway, this interstate that's connecting massive states. And then you find the side road and you find the, the, the interstate. You find the, you know, the this, the that, you find the alleyway, you find the place, you find the driveway that leads to your home. And we all have a different place that we call home. We all have some place that we're trying to get to. And there's not one set path for any person, but the only way that you find your way is by taking a lot of roads, taking a lot of wrong turns, taking and hitting a lot of dead ends, a lot of dark alleys, a lot of uh, freeways coated with lots of paths. You might see a lot of accidents. You see a lot of fatalities, but you keep on moving forward and you learn. You learn through experiences and you keep on going. And so in order for you to go, do not be afraid of quantity. 
know that you are doing the work. You are becoming wise. And with that knowledge, with that experiential knowledge, you can ascend to be a quality person to communicate with quality. And the quality of your life is the quality of your communication. So communicate with a lot of people and then you can refine it. You can become a master and then you can get more out of your conversations, out of your influence, out of your relationships. You can get more out of anything, but don't be scared to go out there. Have quantity first and know that is putting you on the path to a quality life.